soft landing and uh, and everything is going to be okay. Yeah, we're still trying to burn some fuel. What, what crime no did crime. I commit? I'm telling you. You told me I'm committing a crime. No, I'm okay, I'm not committing crime. a crime. Is it legal what I'm doing? Yes, this is okay. a Guys, hello and welcome to another flight report. Today I'll be flying Ryanair from Madrid all the way to Kiev in the Ukraine. But before we do so, and you're probably wondering why I'm not at the terminal yet, today Kubana's Yushin 96 is landing, which comes to Madrid once a week. So I'm on a mission and out of breath <laughs> to get close to the runway to film the plane coming in. And then after this, we're gonna head to terminal one and we're gonna review probably the world's most famous budget airline. So let's do this. Let's catch the arrival of, of uh, Kubana and then let's head to the terminal. Damn, I just hope there are no snakes or dead bodies. Imagine that, you walk around here because this is usually where people dump dead bodies and stuff like that. It's so mysterious. <laughs> I think this is a good spot here. And I just met another spotter in the middle of nowhere. Um, like I could tell because he had this massive lens on his camera and he said uh, he's not here for Kubana, but for a Korean 747, like a military uh, 747. So maybe on top uh, we get that too. When I checked two hours ago, it was still over the Atlantic, cruising on 28,000 feet. Imagine the fuel burn it has, like cruising on such low attitude. And then uh, with four engines. Can't be a profitable flight. Guys, and here's the military 747. Woo! <laughs> Got it. But wow, that was beautiful. Nice, loving it. Guys, the moment has arrived. There she is. Look at her. Look, there she comes. Oh my God. Got it! Nice! My god, she is so beautiful and so chubby. Wow! Can't wait to fly this bird very soon. I have plans to do it. Wow! What a beauty! Oh my god, I can hear the reverse trust. Music in my ears! And she only comes once a week, once a week. Let's go to the terminal and let's fly Ryanair. I'm so pumped. Let's do this. Four hours Ryanair. Yeah. All right, now I have to get out of here though. <laughs> ah, okay, windows open. Uh, that's okay, no problem. So wow, I can't believe it. I checked in, I'm flying Ryanair. This is such a flashback. I used to fly Ryanair all the time when I was young and broke in 2008, 2009, and nothing has really changed. So I came to the check-in counter. She was like, where's your boarding pass? Because if you don't book that option, you have to pay 55 euros to use the check-in counter. But this is Ryanair, they make money off all those add-ons and all these extras. And then she realized, she looked at my PCR test and she said, oh, it's your birthday tomorrow. This is so nice. And all of a sudden she was like super nice. There was no issue. She gave me a boarding pass because I purchased this option. I also purchased a meal on board. I also purchased check-in baggage. Um, so I'm gonna get the whole, the whole smash. I just 
got breaking news that the first Ryanair 737 MAX left Seattle for Dublin. That's where Ryanair is based and I think they have over 250 737 MAX orders. Pretty much replacing most of their fleet or being an addition and uh, Ryanair currently operates over 400 with like all the um, the franchise uh, airlines um, 450 737 800 making him making them one of the biggest airlines in the world in terms of fleet and also in terms of passengers carried what I also highly enjoy here at Madrid Airport is that there's every five minutes an announcement saying that they don't make boarding calls instead of making boarding calls which would be less announcements because there's only 10 flights here. The logic. <laughs> and then it was time for my first Ryanair flight after a 15 year break and I was very excited. Well. Not really. The lovely crowd was separated by priority and non-priority passengers, an option that you can also purchase. Ryanair was one of the few airlines that didn't accept or ask for any government bailouts and hence don't care too much about social distancing, which in my opinion I guess is fair enough. And welcome on board the 737 with 189 seats in total. That makes 80,325 identical seats across their fleet, which carried over 150 million passengers a year. I love Ryanair for what it is, cheap, reliable and no frills. And that's pretty much my summary and review about their seat as well. We pushed back on time, taxied past the stored British Airways Airbus A380s and took off for our four hours journey to the beautiful capital of Ukraine. successfully rocketed out of Madrid and as higher as the plane climbed, as closer my seat neighbor got. At one point I was even afraid that he might end up in my lap. It was then time for my pre-purchased coffee ham and cheese sandwich as well as some Pringles. Very delicious and while I enjoyed my sandwich, my seat neighbor was on to his next mission. One hour into the flight, I noticed that we would make a sharp 180 degree turn, which didn't make any sense and for a good half an hour I felt very confused. I was just about to approach the crew before the captain made a public announcement. probably half an hour ago that we would do a 100 degrees turn and then we were like circling for some time and I could feel for a good 20 minutes that something was odd until the captain announced that there's a technical uh, issue on this plane and we are getting diverted to Barcelona now I have no idea what's going to happen but yeah So we clearly have some passengers in distress and uh, the passenger right in front of me, she seems to have a panic attack, she's crying. Um, I guess a lot to deal with, especially if you're not familiar with safety and everything like this. So I, um, I hope it's going to be fine and I hope we're going to make a smooth landing and, uh, and everything is going to be okay. First impression, like, of course it's scary if you hear something like that. So let's see how this is going to go. Thank you. 
so we've been holding for an hour or something like that. Um, what I like is um, the cabin manager going through the cabin and trying to talk to everyone who has some concerns. I think that's really well dealt uh, by the crew. And uh, yeah, we're still trying to burn some fuel and we should be on the ground in like half an hour-ish. At our parking position, we were greeted by fire trucks as well as ambulances, as a precautious measure, I assume, and we were then told to quickly disembark the plane and to get on the buses provided. So we were able to disembark the plane, we are now in the bus and I uh, don't know what's going to happen. They're probably going to take us to the next plane. Uh, that's what they said at least, there's a plane ready for us to take us to Kiev. But yeah, so far it seems to work rather smoothly. It seems really well organized and really well structured. They have the plane ready to take us to Kiev. So if it continues like this, well done, Ryanair. While waiting to board the new plane, I was approached by a Ryanair staff member telling me that I'm committing a crime. So I was very keen and curious to follow up with him to see which law I was breaking. What, what crime no did crime. I commit? I'm telling you. You told me I'm committing a crime. No, I'm telling you that you can film. That's it. I cannot film? Yes, but you told you me I'm committing a crime. I'm not telling you that. You told me. You came to me. You said I commit a crime for filming. I'm telling you that huh? you can. All right. That's it. I cannot film? But you told me I've committed a crime. No. I'm telling you, you can. That's it. Okay. I'm not you committing can. a crime. Is it legal what I'm doing? It's Yes, this is okay. like, I'm, I think you're you. doing a great job. I think you're doing no a problem. great job. No. I'm just telling you, you can do hey, it. Hey, come. You know you can. You can. I know. But don't yes. say things like this. You don't have to scare me. You know you can. Not for I know me. My, I know my rights. Okay. But you don't have to come to me and say I committed a crime. No problem. I have no problem with you. I think no. you're doing a good job. You organized a plane real quick. Everything is everyone is happy. You have a company, <laughs> at least, that you have a replacement aircraft. Everything, I'm happy, I'm happy. No. You just came to me and so you said, I, no, no, I'm like, I just don't want to have any issues, you know? I, I have to take care of you. I know, I understand, I understand. Exactly. That's okay. Thank I'm you. Right. No, 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 okay. no, there's no inconvenience. How you handle the situation. I'm impressed. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, if you're bored, you can watch my videos. All good. Okay. John, <laughs> have a good flight. Uh, no, thank I'm you, thank you. No, no, no. He approached me and he said, I'm committing a crime. And I said, what is the crime? And then uh, when I came back and I confronted him again, because I was very curious to know what the crime was. And then he said, I did not commit a crime. And then he changed his, his wording a little bit. But in the end, I gave him my card. I said, hey, you guys are doing actually an amazing job, you know? So um, it's nothing to worry about. I think he was just worried that I take a video and bash Ryanair, which I'm not. I was just going to tell him how great of a job they did. Like, we landed there was a, a replacement aircraft ready in place already um, nobody needs to worry so fantastic that's how it's done right so nothing to uh, nothing to worry about but I think old habits they die a little slower and in no time we have been airborne again which I believe stands testament on what a great and professional airline Ryanair is well done to such a great effort and to everyone involved, whether it's the cabin crew, the ground staff or everyone behind the scenes who got this organized. Well, well done. Apparently experienced the whole smash. Now someone was smoking in the lavatory in the back. 
it smells really really bad <laughs> so uh, I didn't hear an alarm or something like that so I don't usually know how they figured out but then one crew rushed uh, to the back and uh, now they're apparently dealing with it very interesting flight I really really and like uh, admire the crew how they handle all this bullshit today well done Ryanair well done So welcome to my beautiful room here in uh, the Ukraine. I think bald and bankrupt <laughs> would be very happy to stay here. Quickly summarizing it, I think Ryanair did a sensational job. 20 minutes on the ground. So, and it's good that they take safety seriously. There was a little issue, they landed. And within 20 minutes, they put us on another plane and we were airborne again. They managed to get all the luggage, all the passengers just onto the uh, other airplane and off we went. And the crew uh, had to deal with so much nonsense, smoking passenger, passenger who were really annoyed by all that and they dealt with it so professionally. So now I really liked how the cabin manager then went to the cabin and was there for inquiries. She was looking at everyone and everybody who had a bit of a concern because it's a tense situation, right? And she was there and she was open there for a dialogue or somebody who wants to talk or just to take the stress off the passengers. So I think what we saw today is professionalism at the highest level. And I know Ryanair, I am now eligible for the European compensation of 250 euros, but I know somebody from Ryanair is definitely watching. So please take that money, take this 250 euros and give it to the crew as a bonus for the hard and professional work uh, they did today because I was really impressed. And I think this is how you should deal with such cases. So uh, Ryanair, I salute you really well done and uh yeah that's how it's done that is how it's done but yeah guys this is it for today's video i'm very sleepy as you could probably see and exhausted as well as ryanair beautifully dealt with that situation it isn't the most comfortable product uh that has to be set but for 90 euros a meal check uh, check the luggage what else can you ask for so guys this is it um let me know in the comment section below what you think of today's um, video and where we off to have a safe trip.